Hi guys, it's Dom here. I'm at the British Esports Championships Day 2. We're at the League of Legends Schools Championships. We've, got the, we've done the Grand Finals and uh, Beyond Reality won. I'm joined by Beyond Reality from Cardinal Vaughan Memorial School today. So if you guys could introduce yourselves, tell us your uh, gamer name, the position you play in and how you think it went today. Uh, I'm the top lane, I'll say. Uh, I'm the top laner, uh, AOMG J Park. Uh, AOMG stands for Always On My Grinds. Uh, well, I think top lane personally. I think I, I trashed, like, I thrashed the other top laner. Because uh, my guy in game two was, I think I went 2 0 oh, 3. So uh, I think it went pretty well and we played as a really good team. So. It was a Triforce Ignite Garen, it was quite scary. Yeah. You know, is that something you practice in solo queue and things? Uh, I picked it up like a week ago and I found out that like it's like a hidden OP champion. So, like, yeah. Well played, well played. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so next person. Uh, I'm Migsy, uh, I was a jungler. I uh, played Evelyn both times. And um, I know it was, it, was quite, it was pretty hard because that, that Javan was really scary. I think he, he was diamond, diamond and we're all, you know, flat mostly. And uh, uh, we just played the late game, which is what we usually do. So uh, that means, means we had to give up a load of skull crabs most uh, like early game. But it did mean that our team fighting was a lot better. And it's good to see a fellow Evelyn main as well. Yesterday we had Viapix, who's come a two trick via Neve, and then today we've had Evelyn, so well played with Evelyn. Um, so next player, the mid laner. So mid laner, uh, my in game name is Old and Retired, not really original, I know. But um, both games I played uh, Lulu first and Zillion second. And the whole point of that was to help my ADC um, get through the game basically. And my, my job was to peel for him and to apply the pressure, apply the poke, make sure that any sort of engage that they want to do, I can disengage where my team wanted to. So in other words, leading the team. <laughs> to the ADC, right? You were carried in at the start. <laughs> Tell us what that was all about. Well, basically, the idea is that it will support me, so then I carry the game. That's how it worked, and that's how it ended up. Especially after the first game, I, I did carry the game. With that last team fight. And then uh, the second game, I fell off, uh, fell off a bit, but what can you do? Well, t I missed your name as well. What, what was your gamer name? I'm Sir Kemzo. So you had a Kaiser in the first game? In the second game, yeah. Kaiser, you, you went ahead early in the first game. That first game was very close. Um, tell us a bit about your thoughts going up against that Ezreal, because at one point he was quite scary looking. So, at first I had the uh, CS advantage, but then uh, I, they had the other Ezreal had TP, so he had the uh, he caught up with CS the late game, and then uh, I couldn't one v one him in the late game without my team. So yeah, I, like, I did get a bit scared, and then I did rush into fights sometimes. But yeah, I, 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 I still went on top. So yeah. 1 2 0, and then finally the support player. Uh, yeah, I have his support. Um, my in game name is AOMG Loco. So I played Alistair the first game, and that was like a really hard game because I had to both engage and peel on my ADC. So I was still shaky on the engage, but when it came to game two, I whipped out my main thresh and I played confidently. So I think that's why we won game two really quickly. Mr. Few Foot, so yeah, I missed a few hooks. Yeah, I missed a few hooks. Yeah. I saw your surnames, your brothers with yeah. the top line. Now, what's that like being on the same team? Um, well, because we've been playing for each other since like season two, so we don't really have to communicate. We know we already know what we're doing. But yeah, he's a he's a good he's a good player. He's a good player. <laughs> well, is there anything else you guys want to add? You know, you're the very first schools British esports uh, champions. You know, that's that's a great achievement. Um, I mean, I want to say is that I hope other schools just like look at this now and know that not only is this yes playing games but it's, all, it's always about team building exercises this is a really like fun thing to do especially like I know that some of us have exams coming up on anything like that but the fact that we can just take a day off just to play a game that we all love and if you love the game and you just want to have fun playing it definitely like do these things because this is like a, 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 like it's, it's just an amazing experience. That's that, that's all I can say to be honest. It is an amazing experience. Congrats again to Beyond Reality, and uh, yeah, we'll be back with more winners' interviews over the weekend.